All right, so welcome again, people, to MG Sports TV. Yeah, this is going to be, a, this is not actually not a lot. So I was, I'm just making a fair assessment of Demar Gray and Demar Rai Gray. And um, I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's very, very impressive when you look at his numbers. His numbers are tremendous, as you can see right here. Look right here. His numbers are extremely impressive, especially for a player that is new to a system and a team that is not, that, that, a team that haven't even clicked as yet. So his numbers are actually phenomenal. It doesn't matter where go, home or away, he tend to deliver. Now, I do believe that. Did they give him that goal? I'm not sure. I think they gave him the goal that we played in, in, in Jamaica. Let me see. I'm just going to check if they gave him that goal. Um, versus 80. They didn't give him. Interesting. Was it against 80 people? Oh, they record it as deflected. Uh, um, so technically, technically, maybe you should put one more goal on it because honestly, even though it was deflected, in my perspective was it was he was on the sole reason why we actually got that goal. <laughs> so if you could put it, maybe I said, boy, six goals, you know, yeah, maybe nine games. Uh, yeah, technically. Anyways, people, please, um, thank you very much for joining. This is MG Sports TV. We're gonna speak about the Margaret. Phenomenal player, really, really good player, and there's so much details to back up that statistics and that 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 claim that he's a phenomenal player. We have seen many, many players, especially attackers, who come in and didn't mesh well. You can remember Donaldson, um, attackers from high-level football come in and just it just didn't work well. Mikel Mikel Antonio come in, it it off the bat, right off the mark, gets it going, a, a screamer versus the USA. So he's known for scoring, especially in big games and he's known for maybe doing it by himself but demar gray is a different different type of player not only scoring but registering assists he's a playmaker he's a goal scorer he's a left-sided forward attacking midfielder type player <laughs> yeah you have a lot of qualities to him he has a lot of qualities i made a video with my, with my glasses i need my glasses like darn light people my apologies and that light is actually bad at me this glass is not very good, but the light, yeah, the light are bad at me. Anyways, so as you can see there, um, before getting that, you are before getting that, please, please do hit the like button. Come on, we're gone long enough now the video now. We don't need to do this every time. We don't need to. Hit the like button, people. It's very, very important that you do so. Nine games, two assists, five goals. I can't say technically the one, the one against 80 at home when he kicked the ball and they said deflected. But I thought fr from where I was, the, actually, like right beside I, where my kick is shot, it was actually going on target. So. I'm not sure. Anyways, they said it's an um, recorded recorded it as an own goal, but it was heavily created by him. Now, we have been in moments where Demar Great dug us out of hole, finding um, find, giving us the winners, um, giving us the openers. Like like for example, we went one nil down to 80, bam, Demar Great out of nowhere, on it. So he's consistent where goal scoring is concerned, but not just goal scoring. But understand what's happening in the game. Understand the importance of the win. Understanding team camaraderie. And he's just meshed extremely well with the culture, with the players, everything around him. He's embracing it. Each time he comes to play for Jamaica, it's like it's a different light, it's a different Demar Gray. You can see it in his persona. You can see his behavior. He just comes to life whenever he comes to play for Jamaica. And when you have these types of players, it's critical, it's really, really critical and you make them feel at home. You make them feel welcome. Now, remember the Jamaica fans, we kind of easy to turn against people. You're just one bad game and boy, ray, ray, ray. Look at it. Look at, let's give an example. Shaman Nicholson. Yes, the thing is, he's not the most prolific striker, but he has been, I think he has been consistent. I think he has been consistent. Every three games, I think Shaman Nicholson scored every three games based off his, his numbers. Every three games, he, he would have scored. His whole up plays consistent. So, and we still turn on him. We still turn on players. We easy. We were very, very easy to turn on players. Leon Bailey get a lot of stick. Um, Damien Lowe get a lot of stick. Despite all the performances, these players consistently get a lot of stick. Um, Nati Bodier, when he came in, breath of fresh air, light. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody's up. No. Get him out of the midfield. Take him out of the midfield. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we are, we are as fans. And you have to understand, that's just a part of supporting a team. Um, it's a part of supporting a team. Nothing will be perfect. No one is actually perfect. And I do believe that these players understand the emotional aspect of football. Sometimes it might get to them, but as you can see with Liam Bailey with the press conference, 
when they say the fans are <laughs> naive. But that's just how it is. A bit of pressure can be applied, and that's football in all, in all aspects. But back onto the Margaret, he's a top quality player, people. He's a top quality. As I said, nine games, two, go um, two assists, five goals, seven goal contribution in nine games, people. This guy is practically giving us something every single time he touches the pitch. And that's the expectations now that we have now put on him that he should deliver. The moment he doesn't deliver, hey, eh, okay game. But that, that's what happens when you have a top quality player. The expectation is always that they should deliver. They will deliver. They, they, sh they have to deliver. And Demar Gray has been, since coming into Jamaica, he has given us gems time and time again in big moments where we need to come back to win games. He's always done it. He, he has given us something to cheer about. He has given something to laugh about. He has given something to talk about and to enjoy. And, I, and when, when he went to the stadium, people can hear people I'm cheering, them are great, them are great, great, great. So you get, he, he's getting the feeling of love. He's getting that feeling of love. And I do think that that's one of the reasons why he's embracing these moments, especially in national team. And maybe he would have, maybe if he had known the love that he'd received, maybe would have seen, seen him already, probably from earlier in his career. Just say maybe. Just say maybe. And these are the reasons when, when these players now would have gone back to um, wherever they are and they book up on other players who, who have the possibility of representing Jamaica. That's the reason why these players reach out to those players and say, hey, my Telemann vibes is right, it's good. Something is happening, something is planning, something big is coming. Coach is coaching well, the team is moving in the right direction. Um, the country is behind us 100%. And this now me, me allows other players to see what's happening. And it, it just fosters that beautiful atmosphere for, for players to come and, 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 be, and do well and perform well. And Demar Gray has done a lot so far for the national team. For us as fans, give us something to enjoy. Give us something to laugh about. And I have to say, he, he has been brilliant. He has been a breath of fresh air in this team a real real breath of fresh air in this team and i've said the margaret keep on putting the work keep on making a smile hey, 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 come back into the game keep on making a smile and he's having brilliant games over and over again an average game is for the margaret is maybe a game that he doesn't score <laughs> that's that's an average game and that's that that's the level that he has set um so far he has been brilliant and i have to say keep on doing the work people let me tell you two since he has been here only two games let me get get the data only two games they haven't contributed in. Let me tell you the two games, people. The first leg I've um, recorded. The first leg. Let me let me just. Um, let me give me that. These are the two games that he hadn't contributed in. The Jamaica when we defeated Saint Kitts five um, five nil, and funny enough he played actually eighty one minutes. We defeated Saint Kitts five nil. That's in the Gold Cup, I think. I think that's in the Gold Cup. I believe that, I believe that was in the Gold Cup. Wasn't that in the Gold Cup? Yeah, that, that's in the Gold Cup group stage, yeah. He didn't contribute to that goal, nor assist in that game. And then now, the next game would have been against 80. So in all um, nine games, only two games, it was recorded. And I do believe, from my perspective, the 2-2 two -two versus 80, I thought that goal would have given to him because he was going on target. It was a kind of slight deflection. But those are the two games recorded that Demari Gray haven't really contributed in. D just to show you the level that these, this guy is at. Just to show the level. Last two games, two goals. Simple, too easy. Big up on yourself, people. Tell us what you think about the Margaret and performances since he has been with the national team. Anyways, people, MG Sports TV, and we are out. Boom. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your day.